Hi, there's Life Prepper here. Changing eating habits to survive SHTL or WRL, what do you want to call it? The fact is, is that the cost is out there. It's not cheap. The stuff that's in them is not cheap, but we went through a change. So it's changing my whole system in the food. One thing is your oil. Now, this is olive oil. We use it. We use aloe vera oil and things like that. But what we have found that we use less. This here is a coconut flour. I have almond flour. There's different types. Yes, it's more expensive, but as far as the long run, we waste less. We use less. This here is my homemade muffin here. I add cocoa powder into it. There's some flex seed added into it. I add my eggs into it. And to make a bowl right there, there's two muffins in there equivalent. So just break it down to one muffin. You use one egg. You use a tablespoon of coconut flour and a tablespoon of almond flour. You can change it around if you want. Uh, a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of olive oil. You add your little bit of water or I use almond milk or water, whichever one. And then a little bit of aluminum-free baking powder. Now, if you want to add some yeast to it or you want to change it a little bit around, uh, you can. I think it was baking powder. Please, it's back here, but I'm not going to get up and show it to you. But the thing is, where I was using regular flour was a big difference. If you live in an area where you can make your own coconut flour, that's great. If you make your own almond flour, that's great. If, you, if you're where you can harvest the, the nuts and make your own. It's about health has a lot to do with it. But the fact is, is that this here would take it takes a lot less room for me than several bags of flour that I would end up using. I would end up using more flour in it than I would the other. Also, another thing is looking at the quantity of the food that we have in a situation. That is something that changing eating habits is very important. Are you stocking your shelves with chips? Are you stocking your shelves with candy? Uh, a lot of people say they do now. I've been using uh, subliminums, as I, as I talked about in one of my videos, to help control my eating habits, to help me eat better. And as again, as an aid, there's pros and cons to it. But what are you stocking your shelves with? You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm stocking my shelves with comfort food in a, a SHTF event. But the thing is, is nutrition-wise, I can still have my comfort food by adding uh, my sugar into it and things in that area that I use. I, I, I use that stevia type of sugar. I don't use uh, cane sugar. I don't use uh, sugar substitutes or anything like that. I use cane sugar. I put a couple of scoops of, of sugar in here. There is some flax seed in here that I put in for today. So it's a big question is, is changing your eating habits. Looking in your cabinets uh, is something you have to do. Research is very important. Looking at the foods and what's in them. If you realize that the fruits that's being shipped over are basically green, and they're spraying them with a chemical on it to help with the ripening of them. So you're looking at that. You're looking at that possibility. You are you really need to change your approach on it. If you live in town and you want a couple of trees, plant a couple of fruit trees or something to think about. If you want to do a nature garden and you know some place where you go walking, and you want to plant some plants out there to let them grow wild and create your own natural food source out that way and harvest them wild, you can go that route. But you need to do research. If you start reading labels, you'll see all kinds of stuff and names on it you can't even pronounce. And many of the countries that's outlawed some of the stuff, but in the USA, me, we, a lot of the companies are still using these things. Did you know they're putting antidepressants in the hog food and things like that? So it's something to think about. Changing your eating habits and preparing yourself uh, is very important 
in a uh, SHTF event, even for your overall health. Uh, as a back to basis prepper, I'm always learning. And actually, doing this here is better for me than buying all that big old bag of flour stuff because I'd put a lot more in it. It would have not been beneficial health wise as much. So, research, research, study, read, decide, change your diet around if you need to for a healthier one. Look in your cabinets. If it's loaded with junk food, it's loaded with power bars. You say, I got all these power bars. I'll survive on them. But how long will those power bars last? You need to decide what you need to do and get some recipe books on it and do some research on it. Go online, research this. Finish of the computer age. You may not always have it around to use. So, changing your eating habits of SHTF is very, very important. And learning how to harvest your food, creating your nature gardens, and always about surviving. This is Life Prepper here. Be safe, be happy, and think about changing your eating habits.